Hi, this is Professor Lusheen, and in this video, we're going to investigate the outliers in each of the four data sets. So, this is not a highly scientific or rule of thumb. This is, the, this is about the only step that kind of gets a little bit questionable, that we're going to use the visualization or the chart of uh, graphing the total paid amounts of each claim and then looking for natural what I'm going to call breaks and that is try to find this this balance of when the claims are really expensive and so therefore they're kind of out there versus yeah there's a lot there but they tend to be in a more consistent line with the other paid stuff and then what I'm going to do is remove those from the analysis and just put them down below not delete you know from existence but just bring them down and then we're going to look at the outliers to find out whether they are um, you know similar to others or unique to the entire data set. If you recall in the last video, we did the descriptives and the distribution. So here are the results. Uh, I kind of put it into one table. It's kind of interesting to see the side by side here, you know, because we've got, you know, kind of a, of a large change or difference in the number of claims for each of these. I didn't put on the dates here. It, was, it would have been a huge table. But you can see that the average per claim, it's not a, that's not a big difference there from 2,200 to 4,300. The median, it's really small there because of the larger uh, 0%. But you can see it varies quite a bit. And I think there might be, it'd be interesting if I had a large data set of like, a thousand companies I could do something a little bit more interesting to find out what sort of the trends are here are the max claims amounts the percent max after this outlier step we'd like to get this percent max as close to one percent as possible see what we have and then we've got the percent that are still open and the percent that are below one thousand dollars and the percent that's above 55 so or I'm sorry above 50,000 the Excel actions are gonna be fairly simple this is again more of a, a draw create a, a chart and then just sort of look at it and just figure out what was going to work best to kind of go back and forth. And this hasn't changed much. So let's take a look at the data. So I did the, I created the charts for three of the four. So I'm going to show you how I do it in just the, the company D. So what I'm going to do is a highlight, again, hit this apex between the columns and numbers and do a control copy. I'm sorry, control C for copy. I go to my new page. It's in A1. Hit control V to paste it. Then what I'm gonna do is highlight the header row. I can kind of zoom this in a little bit. I highlighted the row one. I'm gonna go to data, and then I'm gonna click on filter. And then I'm going to scroll over to total paid, and I'm gonna click on this little drop down menu thing. And I wanna sort from largest to smallest. So now our data is set up so that the most expensive claims are at the top and on down. So let's see what they look like. So I'm gonna click on the top one and just drag, and this is a left click. I drag all the way to the bottom. It's gonna take a little bit because we have a uh, little over 30, 300 claims. Maybe I should have chosen a uh, smaller data set. You can, but it's interesting to kind of watch, you know, how it goes. Um, I probably don't have to have all these zeros in there because it's just gonna be a zero on the chart. I also have to make it bigger. We're almost there, so by talking. There we go, there's everything. Now that that's highlighted, I go to insert and pick a bar chart, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull this over on the side so I can expand it. Boop, 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 boop. Go right there. I'm gonna open it up a little bit bigger. Oops, too big. There we go. And spread it on out. And what we're doing now is we're looking for natural. So we had a really expensive claim that's driving this off the charts. And then so it just graphically, it looks like there's a nice break, like right about there. Is it going to tell me how much that is? Mm, about 80,000. So let's go up and take those out. I'm going to go to the top of the page. I'm going to take out anything above 80,000 and see what happens. Because it's going to change the, um, it's going to change the chart. So let's go to, uh, that kind of looks like it doesn't jump much. Let's see if there's any natural break. Doesn't really look like it. Let's see here. 98, 95. And then it jumps to 90 and then to 87. I'm going to see what happens when I remove these. So I'm going to do a control X for cut. And then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. 
and make sure we're leaving plenty of room for analysis here. How high does it go? There it is. Okay, so here's our stuff from before. And I have to put in an, a comparison table here. So I'm going to go down to, I'm just going to put it at 3400. Hit Control V to paste. So it's now removed it. So now look, this has changed. Interesting. Look at this. So the the total paid has now gone down to about 9.8 million. The effect, the most expensive claim is about 90. And it only accounts for 0.92% of that total. So we got below that 1% that we wanted. Let's look in, at, the, at the figure and see how it's changed. So it has changed the um, the range of the uh, how much you know the cost of a claim here. So that used to be really high. That was up over a million. Like it dropped it down to here. Now we just gotta look at this and see if this is fairly consistent. It is. I mean, it's it's interesting how consistent it is. I might be able to cut something off right here because those jump, jump, jump. But then if it gets, oh, there's a jump right there. I might be able to take advantage of that. Um, how many did we do, did we remove? Let's uh, take a quick look. I'm just going to put a numbering system out here for no other reason. Go one, two, and I'm just going to double click that and see what it gets to. And so we removed 23. What percent is that? Equal 23 divided by, and the total number is 3362. So we removed less than 1%. Not a lot, so 23, That's. I think we could go even a little bit lower to be even more conservative. That looks like a decent gap right there. There's also one right there. Um, so what do we do? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the 50. I'm gonna take it right here just to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go back up to the top and I'm gonna try to leave these spaces in here because then I can throw them back in whenever I want to to look at that and look at the data with it in and out. So I'm going to take some of these out. There should have been a nice break right around 50. Jumps to 48. This may be too much. But it's good to try this though, isn't it? So again, with the uh, control X, I'm going to bring them on down. 3400 is where I had started. I'm just going to paste control V and I'm going to extend this. Should I extend them both? Oh, that was stupid. Let's, see. Let's just do this. I'm just gonna nope. I gotta capture that, and now it should go 24. Yeah. So now this has gone to 76. So remove 76. I'm basically, a little over doubled what it was. Did I do this this way? Yeah. So I can just drag it down. So now what I've removed is uh, about 2.3 percent of the claims. Let's see what the let's see what the chart looks like. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. It's kind of a nice gentle, not not any big jumps. But let's see how much we removed. Dropped it down to 6.2 million. So um, let's look and see what it was before. And this is something I call portaling, <laughs> for no other reason. If you play video games, you know what I'm talking about. So what I do is I just put in an equal sign, and then I go back to the the previous, and I click on the upper left hand corner of the table, hit return, and it brings it over. And then as I click and drag, it brings the data over with it. So this is a portal and not really numbers. And now what I'm doing is just going to clean up this table, give it a border, I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit more. I'm going to highlight, see these are supposed to be currency. So I highlight them and I go up to this number or formatting, click on it, go to currency. I click here to get rid of the decimal points because I don't like to work with pennies. This is a percent. I'm going to do something very similar. I do this a lot, so I go fairly quickly. This is currency, get rid of the dollars and cents. This is accounts, so that's okay. This is a percent. These two are dollar amounts. So I'm gonna go to currency and remove the decimal points. And then this last one is another percent. Yes, okay, so let's find out what the difference is. So we've, we've had some changes, all right? Um, this was the original amounts. See, the most expensive one, there was 1.1 1 .1 something million. It, it, it accounted for about 7.9% of the total. Now the most expensive is 48,000 and it accounts for 0.78. So it doesn't have as much influence when we start doing the risk priority numbers. So let's find out how much we removed, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna put down, um, so uh, percent of original paid. 
and I'm going to go equal, and I'm going to click on the medical amount from before, for the, what it was reduced to, and then divide it by what it was. So about 46%. Okay. Turn that into a percentage, and I'm going to drag it over. So we're now at about 43% uh, about of how much was in the original. So it's changed. But that's okay, um, because we still have a really high frequency. Uh, we removed, and I got a quick change the the top and amount, and we're going to take a look at these. You look at some other ones too. So uh, we took out seventy six. So I'm going to go up there and change that real quick. So this is now equal three three six two minus seventy six. So the new number is n equals thirty two eighty six. Okay, so this is the data set I'm going to use now for um, doing uh, trend analysis and for uh, attempting to identify where to look and what to look for. But the but we need to look at these outliers down here just to find out are they different from the others. And so I just like to kind of glance through these. And you know, here's policy class. But let, let's give it a header row so we can kind of see what we're working with. All right, I'm just going to put it right here. Okay, so we have sort of this sub data set now that as we move forward, it's going to stay down here and we're going to refer to it again later. But we could uh, create another um, set similar to above. But let's look at some of the more expensive claims and just see what is here. So the most expensive claim, which is which came out to be one point something million paid total. There it is. Let's find out what happened. Employee was walking towards building entrance, slipped and fell on ice, injuring wrist and low back. Employee, number two, employee was cleaning in child care in a building. She grabbed and lifted a bag of trash, injured her low back. Third most expensive, injured worker states contusion to back, neck, and shoulder, was trying to raise a screen and it fell on them. Okay, that one's too specific. Employee was given a campus tour, stepped back to point out a building, fell off a wall okay uh, was showing co-worker how to attach pads to floor scrubber hurt themselves so do these seem unique um slip strips and falls are going to happen but um and lifting things are going to happen but what can we do to try to keep it from being you know millions of dollars or, or hundreds of thousands of dollars so let's go to some of the other ones and just kind of take a look here so this was outlier a I'm not sorry, this is companies A's outliers. So it looks like we have kind of a natural break, you know, in this, so anything above 24,000. Let's go up there and remove it and see what happens. Gotta find the total paid. So I'm gonna highlight the rows, go down to, ooh, we got to, there's 24,000. Wow, it's just gonna be a handful. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have done that. I should have done that, should have done that, should have done that. Okay. Control X to cut. Go down below. I already created the table. I kind of like to go down and find something like this. There we go. What it change to? 800,000 down from 1.5. Let's see what the chart looks like. Oh, it really looks like we could go down to right here at like 15,000 or maybe here. I mean, it's going to cut out a lot. You don't want to take too much meat off the bone, but. Um, you know, just a handful of these could really influence. What's the what's the percent down to? It's down to two nine eight. So we do need to take out some more. Uh, I'm gonna make a judgment call here that I may hurt me later, but I think I'm gonna take out this one. So the twelve thousand. Okay. Down to right about there. Let's cut that. Oh, twelve eight twelve. All right, let's just go with it. What this does, it allows us to be more conservative in our estimates and our forecasting later on. Let's see what we have. One, two, and three. Ah, uh, geez. It's, it says custom. I'm going to make it general. I'm going to click it. So we've got 27. Let's see what it represents. Let's see what it looks like quick. It represents 1.86. Geez, I could even go a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, it's like at some point you have to stop. And, and now we're just down to 500,000. And so I'm going to stop there. 
Uh, the n is changed. We're now t we took out 27, so this is going to be equal 486 minus 27, and it's now 459. 459. Okay. And what did we get now for the change? So versus original. I I don't remember what I called this last time. Sorry about that. And so that's what it is now. And it was, where's the division sign? There it is, the original. We're at 45%, and here we're down to 36%. Turn this into a percentage. OK. And we could look at some of the entries worth the descriptions here. Works on injection molder, taking part of a machine. Employee heard a pop. This is a knee pop. That's the most expensive claim. Second most, employee was performing the job watering chickens on a platform, fell off the ladder. So that was a fall. Uh, unclear, left eye injury. Fourth, was cutting holes inside of bed liner trucks, rolled their ankle. Works as a finisher. Employee disregarded scrap into the grinder. Piece scrap was grabbed by the blades. Employee's left hand snagged. Pull his hand in. Ooh, that's a, that's a bad one. Employee was carrying 30 pound box. Back on the skid, felt the pop. So, you know, again, are these, these, are these freak accidents? No, they're kind of just part of everyday work. That was, so we've looked at two of them so far. Let's go to the B outliers and see what it looks like here. And it looks like we have sort of a, a natural break Somewhere right about here. Is it going to tell me what it is? Or should I just go up there and look at a, like a forty thousand dollar range? Let's just take that quick look here. Let me go up, find the total paid, start highlighting rows. Wow, look at that! It gets done pretty quick. Let's see if we see a nice break in here somewhere. Mm hmm. There's a bunch right there. Thirty six, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, forty. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this, stop it at 44 and see what happens. So I'm going to, oh, I did it again. So control X to cut, scroll to the bottom, and try to find a decent number to start on here. Paste. All right, what did it drop down to? Oh, we're down to one there. Let's see what the thing looks like. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that, I don't like that spike right there. Um, that's, there's a nice, oh, there's one right there. So I think I'm going to go to like to a 28 or 29. See what comes out. And yeah, I'm going to take these out. Oh, I did it again. I, I'm going to do it each time, aren't I? Force a habit sometimes to left click or right click. Let's go to the bottom. I'll put them here. Let's see what the chart looks like. Ooh, don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. How many have we taken out so far? Typed in one, two, three, but I'm gonna turn it to general. Double click there. And oh, we're already taking out a lot. Hmm. But what's this down to? Oh boy, yeah, you don't have to take out any more than that. And I could put back a few. I could. I could put back a few. It wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but I'm gonna be. I'm gonna err on the side of being uh, more conservative than I really need to. I'm gonna leave those other ones in there. So I'm kind of doing a balancing act here. So let's look at some of these descriptions. Most expensive employee injury sustained because not 100 sure what happened. Her shoulder injury. Uh, reports repetitive bending and twisting. Reports injured low back while bending. Assisting two paramedics. Back spasms, pain in the right buttocks. Employee caught foot in a cooler door, fell to the ground. That's just like a uh, transport patient per bed. Employee hit a puddle of water. And it splits left foot leg. Okay. Well, as you can see again, you know it, it tends to be more physical over exertion or slip, trip, fall. Okay, we're gonna go to C. Uh, let's see, what did we do with C? Okay, I'm sorry, it's right here. Uh, I haven't removed any yet, so let's take a look at the chart. 
and oh yeah we definitely have to go to right this point right here but it looks like there's a decent jump there and there and there uh let's go to this one right here which is going to be right around the 50,000 mark and total paids are here and drop it down whoa that went really really quick so I, I think I can take a little bit more let's look for a more natural jump I'm gonna go all the way down to 24,000 and I did it again cut go all the way to the bottom find a nice number to start on paste what it dropped down to oh that's still at 253 I jumped down a lot though ooh hmm 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 I think I want to go to right there Let's see what happens. It's going to drop it down to almost nothing, but I'm error on the side of conservative here. Cut. Go down below. Paste it here. Let's take a look. Ah, that's nice. We're down to, it's 163. What, what else we could do there? It's just that type of data. All right, turn that into general numbers. Spread it down. It's 36. Equal 948 minus 36. So this is going to be 912. I don't know if I did this in the last one or not, but I will check it. Let's find out what the new subtotals are. It was that. We're at 42% there and about 30% there. So I'm going to quickly just take a look at these. I mean, let's see if the trend continues. The most expensive claim, which is 113,000, reach for blazers on Z rack, turn put them in lower rack, felt low back pain, cleaning bottom rails, back pain, front tripped, no statement. I'm not really sure what that is. A slip and fall. Here's a reaching bending. <laughs> they, these aren't freak accidents. You know, it's not like something fell out of the sky. Um, these things are, they're being exposed to things that you'd be exposed to. It seems to be almost every day, but yet they result in something more expensive. So do we just focus on the most expensive claims or do we try to look and see what are the most frequent because then what we'll do is we'll compare frequency to high severity and find out what will be the best use of our time. What's the best use of our safety time and our safety funds? Um, and also, I will um, bring together all the numbers so we can kind of see how much things changed uh, from, from uh, uh, outlier to outlier. The next step is going to be annual trends, and that's where it gets really interesting. And without these um, really these outliers, really expensive claims, there shouldn't be as much variance. We should have a better idea of the trends having removed out um, these really expensive claims. Um, and we haven't removed a lot of the count either, even though I'll report that. So uh, join me in the next video, and we'll do some annual trending.